Welcome everyone. A week ago I posted a survey on this YouTube channel in which I asked viewers whether they thought Zulin and Wai Pyo would receive royal pardons or reduced sentences for their convictions over the 2014 Koh Tao backpacker murders. For those of you who don't know, back then the Royal Thai Police went to great lengths to pin the murders on anyone other than the very powerful and rich Thai people who run the island. One blatant example came from a Koh Tao taxi driver, Porn Prasit Sukdam 37, just a few days before Zor Lin and Wai Pyo were arrested. He claimed that the Thai police beat him and tried to bribe him to give false evidence against a visiting soccer team. And of course, the police engaged in some incredibly obvious scientific fraud by which they secured their convictions against Zor Lin and Wai Pyo. In the preamble to the survey, I referred to an open letter of mine to the Thai Red Cross Society asking for help with pleas to King Rama X to grant full royal pardons for the Koh Tao murder scapegoats Zor Lin and Wai Pyo and I included a link to a YouTube video of mine and that link will also appear in the description beneath this video. The preamble went on to say to celebrate the December 5 birthday of the late King Rama the Ninth, tens of thousands of prisoners in Thailand are likely to receive full royal pardons and tens of thousands more should receive reduced sentences in December 2022. Now it's important to keep in mind that I did not ask viewers whether the conviction should be quashed. I did not ask viewers whether they deserve to be pardoned. What I asked viewers was, do you think Zorlin and Wai Pyo will be beneficiaries of the mercy of Thailand's King Rama X in December 2022? And I gave them four options and I will let you read those and digest those.